Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2023 Arctic Wolf 3810 suite model. This is a two bedroom, two full bath model. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV. Then we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Arctic Wolf 3810 suite model here. Uh, we're going to actually go to the back and start back there first, but I wanted to show you these little blue lights that they had on here and basically kind of get what the, uh, the idea what they look like, but we're going to turn those off, turn on the regular lights so it don't make the camera look a little funny. So we'll check that out a little more when we get back up front. So two full bath, start back here in the back. So you have a little walk-in shower area back here. A little sink area, medicine cabinet area there, some storage space. And you have that entry exit door going on out. Foot flush porcelain toilet. And then looking up top, you also have a turbo exhaust fan, AC vent back here, skylight back here. So this kid's room area has their own little bathroom setup. So mostly vinyl floor throughout the RV, except for the slides themselves. They do have a little carpet on the slide area. Sliding door there to block off the bathroom for privacy. Up top here, little bunk loft area. There's electric outlet up there, USB charger ports up there as well. TV area here in the middle. Now there is a ton of storage behind that. So you got a cabinet door on each side of where your TV area would be and a lot of storage space there. Metal ladder to help you get up into that bunk area. A lot of storage space on the bottom section of this cabinet area. Now on the outside behind this section will be that outdoor kitchen that you've seen at the very beginning. We'll check that out in more detail when we get outside. Over here you have a flip down bunk and the sofa also makes into a bed and there is a window up there also. And then down below you have three large drawers for some extra storage space. But overall, a pretty good little bunk room area back here. Again, with the kids having their own bathroom and everything. Back out here to the front, checking out this section here. So you have a freestanding dinette with four chairs, two fold-up chairs, and two traditional chairs. So depending on how many people might be with you, you can kind of determine what you do with those chairs. Over here, you have a theater seat setup. So you have heat and massage built in and also lights on here as well. So they have a little button on each cup holder to light them up if you wanna turn that on. So it's kind of a neat little setup. Also a little robe or coat holders back there as well. Electric outlet, USB charger ports there. Over here you have the GE 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Freezer on top, fridge on bottom. And then you have some storage space up above that. On the side of the island here, you got a heat duct coming out here, electric outlet, USB charger ports, high rise sprayer faucet, a 
three drawers and some storage space underneath the island section here. And also the propane leak detector down there too. Back over here you have large drawer under the stove drawer above the little cabinet area on the right as well. Greystone oven, three burner stove top, has light and light up knobs, flip down glass lid also. You have your high point microwave, greystone hood range light and fan, and a little bit of storage space there. Over here you have a good sized pantry, has a little light built in as well. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. TV area over there. And then you have a little bit of storage space up above that. Another little closet pantry area over here. And then you have some lower cabinets and upper cabinet space also. But just kind of standing back, looking down the ceiling here, we have a couple indoor speakers. There's one of your Coleman ACs up here. They are ducted. Some little hang down pendant lighting and a 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. You have your electric box with your breakers and fuses down here. And then there's also a little cubby under that first step where you could maybe slide your shoes underneath of there or something like that to get them out of the way when you come in. A little heat duct blowing out that area. Some controls here. So one of our uh, AC thermostats here. You have your on-demand water heater control, slides and awning controls, some light controls here as well, monitor panels and stuff all right here water pump switch, you can uh, connect Bluetooth to parts of this and control that. You could also preset yourself up for a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. Um, talk with your salesperson about that, but this is uh, basically prepped for the one control hotspot. Um, so something you could talk with them about that. This right here is basically to connect Bluetooth from your phone to the speakers of the RV. The RV does not have a radio. So you would play music off your phone to this through the speakers. Digital voltmeter as well. Entry door here, traditional entry door, screen door, fire ext uh, extinguisher down there. And you'll notice it does have a window here. It is thin shade ready prepped for it. So you can buy that shade aftermarket. But when you're outside, it really doesn't look like it has a window. It's a, Tented safety glass entry door, basically. Up here is the main bathroom. So you have a little bit of storage space below the sink area here. Well, sink area and medicine cabinet area up top. Motion light in there as well. Step in shower here has a skylight up above. You also have one of those large turbo exhaust fans in here. Pull across shower curtain there. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And there's a pretty good size cabinet back there as well. And a sliding uh, door for privacy there. Up here, we're into the master bedroom area here. So you have camper king bed. Now this bed will raise up, so there is storage underneath it here. You have window on each side of the bed, and those do open. All vinyl floor up here as well. Couple drawers, a little bit of uh, space, storage space there. Some space under there as well, again, for shoes or slippers, whatever. Emergency exit window. TV hookups up here. The second Coleman AC up here. Again, this one's ducted as well. 
You have like a little desk area over here also. It's got electric outlet, USB charger ports. And then over on the side, you have some shelf space, uh, USB charger ports, electric outlet over there. And then you have sliding doors here for the closet area. So you can kind of slide this around, get into one side or slide it over and get into the other side. Some lights in there as well. Now, normally you have just a little closet area over here as well. Washer dryer prep is on this model. This particular customer ordered his with the washer dryer in it. So you have a stackable washer dryer set up on this one. But if you don't do that, it's still kind of a little closet area with the sliding door on that. So overall, pretty cool little setup here for the family. Two full bath, two bedroom area, decent kitchen living room area. All right, we're gonna head back outside. I wanna show you around the outside and then we're gonna come back in and close it up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Arctic Wolf 3810 suite model here. We're gonna start here on the door side, spin our way around. So first things up, we have a gray fiberglass exterior, the lower black metal skirting. Graphics changed up just a little bit for the 2023 season, but not anything real major. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You also have a uh, little arm up in the middle there, a little cradle that it kind of helps rest when it is rolled up. Two outdoor speakers. Behind the first storage compartment here is one of your 20 uh, pound propane tanks. Little pet friendly leash latch holder here. And then right here, you have a big storage compartment area right here. Little motion lights in here as well. There is also an electric outlet and cable outlet here. So you could plug a TV in, feed it through a little hole right here, set it up out here on a little table or something, and watch the game out here on a weekend or something. More ride step above entry step, rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground so it doesn't rock and roll. The RV is bad when the kids are running in and out. You have that black safety glass entry door. Doesn't look like it has a window in it, but it actually does. You've seen that when we were inside. Large folding entry handle here. And then your model number, usually located right next to that main entry door as well. And one of the other things that kind of changed up a little bit for the 2023 are the windows. They have kind of a copper mirrored tint to it. Uh, so that's a little different than last year's version. This one, the customer also ordered slide out awning covers over top of the slide rooms. So those are nice to have. They help shade the room, you know, repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff so that it's not rolling up inside your RV and damaging the seals and stuff. So nice feature to add aftermarket. That's not a factory option. It's an aftermarket thing. Down below here, you can see we have double axle. It is drum brakes, aluminum wheels. The little caps on the valve stems are also little tight, what they call tire pressure monitoring caps. They're green and then they change color if they drop too low. So it's just a little screw on cap that actually will change color to help you keep an eye on your tire pressure. Nice thing to do. The unit has a four point electric auto level system. So you have two jacks behind the wheels here and then you have your front two landing gear jacks as well. Back here, you have a little outside kind of kitchen area here. So you have your graystone griddle, 
will pull out drawer, 210 volt mini fridges, one for some maybe adult beverages and one for maybe the kids. Got a little portable ice maker thing here, hot and cold sink out here as well, electric outlet, some little lights out here. So you got a blue light or a clear light. And just down below the bottom down there is your gas line hookup for the griddle. Also, you can see that enclosed underbelly down there. Back entry door here goes into that uh, rear bathroom. Again, more ride step above step, rated for 500 pounds, still has that nicer large handle there to help you get in and out. This was ordered also with the little flip down luggage rack. Traditional flat back rear end, has the four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in that bumper. This also was ordered with the uh, Lippert ladder prep that's up there. And that, it, well, it's actually standard on there, but you could buy the ladder aftermarket. And there's basically a telescoping ladder that comes down, touches the ground, kind of goes up there. Nice little ladder. Again, you can get that aftermarket, but it's nice because it will detach. You can store it away. That way none of the kids are trying to climb up on the roof or anything and get themselves hurt. So you can kind of use it when you want to. Also, the unit comes with a rear observation camera. It's up there in the top center. And that rear observation camera would attach to your phone, basically through an app. Now, if you want one that's different, it might work with say a Furion and it works with its own screen so you're not tying your phone to your backup camera. You could do that aftermarket, but the one that comes from the factory works on an app with your phone. Now, looking up top here, you can see in the picture popping up, uh, this customer put solar panels on his as well. This one has two air conditioners, plumbing stack vents, TV antennas, handful of different things up here on the roof that you do have to get up here from time to time and check your seams and your seals and stuff. Make sure you maintain that. Very, very important so you don't get any water leaks. Detachable 50 amp electric cord here. It's probably about 25 feet long, roughly. Down below here is your rear bathroom dump. So you have two bathrooms at opposite ends of the RV. So you're gonna have a dump back here for your uh, gray and galley of this, or gray and black of this bathroom. And then up in front of the axle, you'll have another one you'll see when we get up there. Kind of see that uh, little mirrored look to the window a little better on this side. Stove exhaust out here. And here we have a really tall storage compartment area here. There's a little motion light in here as well, but this goes up pretty high. So this would probably be a good thing for like fishing poles or something up in here. Now looking back down here at the bottom, you can see down here, the second dump area for the gray and black up here. There's also a hot and cold low point water drain down here. And then spinning around looking toward the front up here, underneath of there is the fresh water tank drain an inch and a half pull handle so it will dump out much quicker for you and you have your furnace exhaust out right here you have the on-demand water heater right here hot and cold outside utility shower right here light you can obviously see next to the light here we have uh, cable and satellite hookups gravity fill fresh water tank black tank flush for the front bathroom and your city water inlet here. This was also, again, ordered with that washer dryer. You've seen that. So there is a dryer vent blowing out here. Now, if you don't get the washer dryer set up, you won't have that vent there. It'll just be gray fiberglass. For winterization purposes and stuff, there is a little panel right here that you remove to get back in behind that little area there for your water heater and your outside shower, some of your inlets and stuff there. A 
electric jack controls. Some informational stickers up here as well. Behind this door here is your second 20 pound propane tank. Then you're gonna have some really important informational stickers here. I wanna pop these up for you real quick. The first sticker that's popping up here on your screen is gonna be your main production date sticker. Has your production date on it, VIN number, axle size, but most importantly here on this sticker, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the assembly line, and it has the length on it. Next, cargo carrying capacity sticker, just basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight. And last but not least, tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly here, cold tire pressure. Very important, check your tire pressure before each trip. Make sure that it's nice and easy and set up there so that you don't blow out a tire, very important. Front cap on the RV, nice setup here. Two little blue LED lights coming down. Those lights turn on and off by the switch here. Spare tire up in here so it's out of the weather and also out of sight, out of mind, so hopefully it doesn't get stolen. It's gonna be a lot harder to steal it out of here than off the bottom or the bumper. Then you also have your battery area here, battery disconnect, solar charge controller and stuff inside of there. Overall, pretty nice little setup here. We are going to go back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Arctic Wolf 3810 suite here. And again, I wanna show you what it looks like closed. So again, when you are ready to close this thing up, you have to come back in here to close up your slides. So I'm going to set down the camera here in the front bedroom and show you that first. So you kind of get an idea what this one's gonna look like. And then we will go on to the other room. So, hitting the button here, you basically just says in or out, hit the button to bring it in. It's gonna come straight in or go straight out. Now, obviously it's very important to make sure nothing's in the way of the slide so you don't accidentally run it over and damage things. But it comes right on in. And with this slide closed, I still could come in here and get to my bedroom, could sleep on my bed, get to my closet by climbing over the bed if I had to, get to one of your drawers at least. This area here, you're kind of blocking off that closet area. But somewhat functional with that slide closed. Now we are going to set the camera down back here in the back. And then we'll run this one in. Now, this one's gonna be a little different. When this one closes up, you cannot get back here through that door that we're looking at right there. You would have to come back here through uh, through the bathroom door, basically. So you'd have to come, if you're stopping at a rest area or something, you would have to have the kids go into the back door to be able to get into that section. So walking around up here, I'm gonna bring that room in so you can see what this looks like. Now, very important, again, on the rooms to make sure there's nothing in the way Make sure you sweep your floor. You get some rocks or leaves, twigs, debris, things like that that might get jammed up under your slide floor and you could rip your floor. So really, really important to make sure you got a clean setup going on there. So now you can kind of see what that part looks like 
closed up there. But coming in through this back door, you could still get in here. You know, flip this into bed mode, bring down your little bed bunk up top. You know, you could climb up onto the loft bunk. So you're not getting through to the other parts of the camper, but you still could get in here and use this if you needed to. And again, you could come in here and use the back bathroom also. Bring it in the room here on the left. Actually, let's bring in the other one first. So we basically just let off the button on the room on the left. It stops. Bring in this one here. That way I can walk around and show you this a little bit better with it closed up. Okay. So when this part closes up, you're not really getting into your fridge. It gets real, real close to that island. And let's bring in the other room now. Hit the right button. Again, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Now this one's almost closed up here. So just kind of stepping back so you can kind of see what it looks like when you first come up into the RV. It's all closed up. Now I could hit the camera on the slide. But we can kind of squeeze through here a little bit. A little tight for a chubby guy. But you kind of get the idea. Coming on in here, I can get up in here. Not moving, uh, maneuvering around a whole lot, but I could do a little bit of stuff in here if I needed to. But again, have access to the bedrooms the bathrooms for stopping at a rest area or something not too terrible all right thanks again for taking the time to watch my rv videos i really do appreciate it guys be sure to check out those guys at couches rv nation thanks again